Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you come across to my YouTube channel, you're probably wondering what is this guy all about. So I want to take about 25 seconds to explain to you what is my channel about. I am Steve J, I'm Mr. Jen, all in one. All in one meaning that I cover fashion, beauty, luxury, and lifestyle. So in my YouTube video, I do a lot of skincare demo, skincare review, unboxing with Chanel, Louis Vuitton, a different designer. We'll also talk about how you um, travel in style and decorate in your life all around it. So that's my channel all about. So if you like what you hear and like what you see, subscribe my YouTube channel and you will not be dis disappointed. Today we are going to do another skincare demo on my face and um, this time we're going to find another budget friendly skincare all the way from Korea. It's called Pure Nito and I think that's how you pronounce that properly. And uh, I look online, the name of Pure Nito has come from two different characters, Purifying and Chinese character Soil. Need to. That's how they say it. So I think it's pure Nito. And uh, the brand is from Korea. Like I said, it is really budget friendly. And I've been using a couple times already for the past three weeks. And I really like it. So I can't wait to show you how this product is going to work on my skin. I just washed my face right now. There's no toner. So the first part I want to apply is a Centella Green Level All-in-One Pad. And this baby right here is basically pre-soaked cotton pad with an ingredient in there so let me show you this is super cool okay so this is the cotton pad is a two-sided here one side is a rough texture and the other side is smoother texture depends on your skin condition i would say if you're more oilier skin have a lot of impurity you need to remove the roughness pad will be great to do it like that if your skin are more drier side and more sensitive you can use the smoother side and um, on the packaging and the bread the, the website it says the product will not irritate the skin even though the company stay there but you still want to be careful so don't get too close to your eye unless you know how much um, your skin can take the tolerance ingredients so I want just slightly like that the ingredient in this pack has a 10% uh, Centella Asiatica. It's a plant extract that will help strengthen the skin cells, help the skin renew faster. And they are using the beta hydroxy acid rather than AHA. So it's much more gentle. I'm going to do it like that. And I just wash my face really good so you don't see much dirt on the hair. A lot of people say using the um, cleansing pad, um, the toner pad like this will do second cleansing. But I feel like if you really cleanse your face first, when you do this, you shouldn't see a lot of dirt on the face. So I'm going to try on the eye area a little bit here. They say it's safe, so we'll see. I got a little essence in my eye. It doesn't feel irritated, so I guess it's okay. But again, if you're very sensitive, you still want to be careful on that. Okay, so now I clean my face. And the purpose of this is just really prepare your skin for the next product. Okay, let's move on to the next product now. The next product I want to apply on my face after the cleansing, the toning pad, is the essence. It's called Galacto Near Sun 97 Power Essence. And um, in K-Beauty, Korean Beauty, Essence Water is very, very popular. Essence Water is to be used before your serum and the moisturizer. And this particular one I'm going to put on my face right now. I used it a couple times. I have to say, it's not like a liquid. It looks like a liquid, but when it goes on the skin, it feels like a little uh, gel-ish texture on the skin. So, like first, when you apply this on, you feel it looks like water. But once it goes to the skin, it feels a little bit texture to it. So it really adds hydrations in there. Has a galacto, galactomide filtrations and it's um, from the yeast fermentations. And this essence has the ability to renew the skin. Also control the sebum productions, which is the oily, oil production on the skin. There's no smell to it, so I really like that. A lot of time uh, when you buy a budget friendly skincare, um, it does a lot of plastic perfume smell, and I absolutely hate that. So this one don't have a much scent, so it's really great. Now I want to show you a little tip that I do. So you put the product on a cotton pad. You can see how much, how fast 
they absorb into it. Sometimes when you use the serum, it doesn't absorb that quickly because the molecule is much more bigger. But this one is actually pretty good. So then after that, I press the three cotton pads together. Then I'm going to just apply this on the dry area. It's not a new technique that I invented. Uh, it's an old technique from beauty, uh, from Asia, Asian skincare. So you know any toner, actually any essence water you have at home, you can do it like this for a few minutes, and you can move around and to intense hydrate the skin a little bit more. Okay, let's move on to the next item. The next product I want to use is Centella Green Level uh, Buffet Serum. Another really cool um, thing that Asian skincare do is they put a lot of serum, they call, they name them buffet serum. So what that means is basically they blend it with a lot of good ingredients all in one. Um, just like my name, all in one. <laughs> so it comes out like a gel, lotion, a gel watery type of texture. So watch this. You can see the difference on the skin. This one has a little bit light green scent, which is not too bad, so I can deal with that. So, it has a, a Centella Asiatica, also has a Peptide, Ceramide, uh, what else is in there? Near Ceramide, has a lot of ingredients in there. So what this serum will do for you, it's really address all problem around the skin, uh, help hydrate the skin, brightening the skin, from, uh, reduce the line around the skin. So. It feels really good. And let me tell you, I think this one is about $17-ish. So it's really budget friendly though. And I hate to say this, sometimes when you buy skincare budget friendly in the drugstore in the US, it first it smells so plastic. I just really don't like that smell. And this one's really, really good. Don't have a much smell into it. And honestly, sometimes I look at this uh, Asian skincare line, I don't know how they can make products so inexpensive and put in the ingredient but doesn't feel cheap. It's it's a mystery to me. Um, I wish that um, in the US we can discover something like this quicker. Okay, so that's the treatment serum. Let's move on to the moisturizer. This is really interesting, at least for me. This is the moisturizer. It looks like, to me, it looks like a medicine too. Uh, when I first got this, I went a minute, is this for face or for your body? So it's, uh, it's called Centella Green Level Recover Cream. Recovery Cream. And this has a 50% of a Centella Asiatica in there. And then when, when the product comes out, it comes out like a moisturizer cream. But it's really cool so as you apply, watch this, okay? So I'm gonna put this right here. So I'm gonna do it like that. As you apply, it just melts into the skin and adds a lot of hydration. See that? It just goes right into the skin. And you guys know that I talk about this a lot. When you put in skincare, if they can melt into the skin, that is great. If they sit on top, not so good. So I'm only putting the half the face to show you guys. The texture feels really great. See the difference? Let me finish this side. This moisturizer has no sunscreen in there, so you can use it at nighttime. If you want to use this at daytime, I will recommend you add a sunscreen on top. So, they didn't send me um, eye cream, so I don't have any eye cream to do demo, but I'm, I know they make eye cream. So, what do you guys think? I mean, the average product cost here is about $19 average out each product, so it's really budget friendly. Hmm, pretty good, right? You know, definitely leave a comment below that um, if you see a little difference on my skin or you already tried this particular brand, I love to hear your feedback too because I sometimes feel like everything that I do here, it's my own personal experience and honestly, it doesn't translate to Everybody should feel the same way. So I love to hear your feedback. You, I mean, you can be honest. You can say, I tried it, you hate it. And let us know what you don't like about it. Or you can say, I try it, I love it. What do you like about it? Because I do believe that everyone uh, has different opinions based on the skin conditions and concerns and your expectation too. So, wow. I think it's not bad. I mean, I put a lot of stuff on my face. It definitely hydrates my skin a lot.
At the end, I want to say thank you so much for continuing to support my YouTube channel and all my social media right here. I almost said that wrong. Uh, definitely uh, check out my Instagram, Mr. Jin All in One. I post on Instagram daily. Uh, usually it's 9 in the morning and sometimes I do twice a day. So it'll be 9 in the morning, 9. 9 o'clock at the night time in California time and um, I my post is about lifestyle, fashion, skincare, um, all in one basically and I reply the fastest on the Instagram and YouTube I respond to I reply to every single person when you comment it but sometimes it takes uh, a week or two because I travel a lot so I want to you know let you guys know that all right um, thank you so much for your support and uh, I will see you guys next week. Bye!